Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to help you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. And a reminder, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Every week I post one to two videos to help you with your landscape lighting. So this is part of a series of the five misunderstandings. And so I have several videos that go over different topics. And this topic is the five misunderstanding of transformers. And this is stuff that people like you have a misunderstanding or belief about a transformer. So the first misunderstanding, and it's something that I get all of the time, and you might be one of them, they are scared of a transformer because what if it burns down my house if I mess up the wiring and make a mistake and then it's going to be all my fault and it burnt down my house. So that is the number one thing that transformers are scary. Now I want to correct that misunderstanding because transformers aren't scary. And the reason why is because they're all built with this little switch or a button. And that is a safety switch. So if you end up wiring incorrectly or there's an electrical surge or something of that nature, what ends up happening is that switch turns off. And that means that there's no electricity that goes from the outlet to the transformer anymore. Like it is completely shut off. And so whatever the problem would be would stop. So that's something that you can have comfort in knowing that it is manufactured in a way to make sure that you don't mess anything up. And a lot of the older transformers, you probably won't run into any of these. They actually have uh, a fuse. And so this fuse goes into the transformer and will break. So it allows the electricity to go through the fuse. And then if something happens, it's just, you know, now it's a switch where you can easily switch off or back on the fuse would break. And so you'd have to go buy a new one just for the transformer to work. Transformers aren't scary. Now you just need to learn and feel more comfortable around it and knowing how to wire it. But trust me, they aren't as scary as you might think they are. So that takes me to the second point is there's a misunderstanding about how to wire up the transformer. Now it's not very confusing. A lot of people, maybe you're one of them, that think that it is confusing. It's pretty simple. So there are different ports in the transformer. You have the commons and that is for the wire that has the white writing or the indent of letters and words. All of those go in the commons. So if you have one common, all your wires that have that white letter go in there together. If you have two commons, you can split it up half and half or whatever you want. Then the rest of the taps, there's a 12 volt, 13 volt, 14 volt, 15 volt, usually. Some transformers are different. That is how much electricity is coming out of those ports. And so if you want to have your lights to last long, have a good amount of electricity, start from the lowest, the 12 volt, 13 volt. Anything, any light that's really, really far away, you put it in the 14 and 15 volt. You don't want to have the lights close to the transformer in the 14 or 15 because it will reduce the life of those bulbs tremendously. So hopefully that made sense and you feel more comfortable around your transformer. All right, the number three thing is being electrocuted when you are working on your transformer. Now this is not a misconception or a misunderstanding. You can be electrocuted. So what I wanna tell you is that you can actually just unplug the transformer from the outlet and you will be completely fine. Just like at your house, if you were working on anything that had the high voltage, you wanna shut off that power from the box so that you don't accidentally electrocute yourself. The fourth misunderstanding, and I get this a lot, is a lot of people wonder where in the world the transformer plugs into. So there's a misunderstanding of where it gets power. So a lot of people think that, okay, it's a transformer. Well, at my house, I have an electrical box, so it must, somehow wire up into the electrical box. Now, if you think that, or you've thought that, you are not alone. There are a lot of people that think the same way. So it does not go there at all. It just plugs into an outlet, a normal outlet. It turns that high voltage, the 120 volts, into a 12 volt for your low voltage lighting. So it's that simple. You don't need to know how to wire it up into your box or anything like that. You don't need to be an electrician. You can just plug it into your outlet. And the fifth 
most common misconception about transformers is a lot of people, I get this a lot, a lot of people don't feel like transformers last very long. And that's probably because of experience. A lot of people have gotten landscape lighting either installed that have been from Home Depot or Lowe's or any low level quality. Now those don't last very long and if I were ever to install landscape lighting or improve a landscape lighting system and there is one of those boxes and I just did this about two weeks ago. This customer had two of those boxes, one on each side of the house. I threw both away and put one professional grade quality transformer there and had her entire system running on just one transformer. Now that transformer, not only does it have a lifetime warranty, the one that I get, but it will last pretty much a lifetime and she won't have a problem with that transformer at all. And speaking of that, down below, if you're interested in doing your own landscape lighting, down below there's a link and you can check out a course that I have created. I've spent about a year of my time putting this together. It goes over everything that you need to know of where to buy your landscape lighting, how to design and how to install that system. Knowing where to get the right transformer, I show you where the right transformer is and at an affordable price. I'm not gonna send you and get like a six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollar transformer. Recently, somebody I helped thought that he needed to get a 900 watt transformer and when I told him that it was way less than that, he goes, wow, my last house I bought a transformer that, that was that amount of money and you're telling me that it's changed? And I said, yes, it's changed dramatically. You can get a lot cheaper transformers that are even better than those ones that were $900 a few years ago. Anyways, hope that was helpful. If it was, again, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Again, best of luck with your landscape lighting project and I will see you in the next video. Bye.